2015, I was traveling for work. I would run in the mornings when I travel and my throat would start closing up and it felt like asthma. And I was having kind of a knot in my stomach and it was really bothersome, but it seemed to change every day. So I thought it was nerves or something. And I went running one morning and my throat closed up in just a few hundred feet. And I just stopped walk running and thought I need to get with my doctor. He told me it was follicular lymphoma and it's a chronic cancer. So it can be put into remission. It will relapse, can go back into remission, but there's not absolutely cures for it. But as a chronic cancer, it's not terminal. So it's, you can manage it for a good number of years. I've always known people face that, you know, diagnosis. And I just had always kind of wondered what I would do if I was in that position. And I think in some way that kind of buffered me a little bit because I thought, well, it happens to people and it's happening to me and I don't know what it is right now. Follicular is a type of B-cell lymphoma. It's actually one of the most common subtypes of lymphomas. It's a chronic cancer in that it's a slow-growing disease, but uh, the paradigm for follicular lymphoma is that it's quote-unquote incurable, which means, yeah, we can easily control the disease with repeated cycles of chemo or now a laundry list of effective treatments that we have for this type of lymphoma, but it always tends to come back. Some of these things had been a little bit more experimental back when I was diagnosed, have now been advanced to clinical trials, more commonly available. And I wanted to give them a try because I figured I was healthy enough to try some things and if it works fine, they can take that you know, knowledge and you know, maybe get, grow on it. And if not, I probably wasn't, didn't have much to lose though because the cancer is not very advanced right now. He has just been wonderful. He understands science, he understands why we do these trials and in fact frequently asks me what he can do to help out. But one of the first things he signed up for literally two days after we first met was to give a sample of his bone marrow and blood for our bank banking studies where um, ironically we learned about how to use uh, immune cells to target lymphoma cells. And then the next trial he signed up for, the CAR T-cell study, was a product of research done on his original tumor samples and blood. So it tied in nicely that he volunteered for things that he could eventually benefit from. This particular trial is using Thomas's own immune system to kill off his lymphoma cells. It's basically where we take his cells, we do what we call an in vitro vaccination approach. We basically train those uh, T cells or immune cells of his uh, to react against lymphoma proteins and then we infuse it back into him. With every single trial that we've done so far, he's been uh, He's been just uh, had, having great responses and we're hoping that continues. And I really hope that uh, we can keep this disease away for him for as long as possible. I like the idea because it feels like, for me, I feel like I'm participating in something that could help other people. At the same time, I like the chance that it may be a good benefit, benefit for me. It's very important to do these clinical trials. I think the whole world is coming around to understanding the importance of these clinical trials thanks to our pandemic now. This has been going on for years in the field of cancer medicine and particularly in lymphoma. We're now at a threshold where we have many things. Agents we have available to lymphoma patients these days are all the products of uh, well done clinical trials. I shocked my friends when I was able to see a cancer doctor two hours after I was told I had cancer. It made dealing with it so much easier because I never had to worry about getting the appointment scheduled. I don't really worry about it. I just, I just kind of always feel like if something comes back, you know, they will be able to find something else to help address it. 